Hey everyone, Amber from the Vault here. Welcome back to the Dead Tree of Ranchiona. I know there's a probably a better way to say that, but I unfortunately am unable to pronounce anything except for the name Bob. So we're gonna go ahead and jump back into the game. But before we do, I just wanted to say thank you so much to the publisher for giving me a copy of this so I could go ahead and play it for you here on the channel. All right, let's go ahead and get back in. So I'll see you back in just a sec. I don't remember going through a door. Okay. So it's been a flash. So in this one, I'm just, I'm a little bit at a loss sometimes because I don't know exactly what's going on. Or goats, maybe? Are they, again, devil? The devil coming to me as a goat? To tell me things about the future? I mean, I'm already... I'll admit I'm a little spooked out because, again, we saw a hanging skeleton. And I don't know where everyone is. Did we, like, murder half the towners? Our town has disappeared, and that's mysterious. I are... don't look like we just dropped out of university. I know not every 20-something... Maybe even teenager. We don't know how long he stayed at university. I, I know they're not all as fresh-faced as I was when I was young, but... I mean, I feel like all had baby faces. It's definitely not, uh... Oh, wait, is it a swan? It sure looks like a swan. I know that he's coming back from memory. This didn't just happen. Some people find romance essential. Others find it useless. Romance means different things to different people. For some, there is romance in imprisonment, looking at the infinite freedom waiting beyond. Again, it is our own choices that make us either happy or smart. The more we find romance, the happier we feel. We all want to fool ourselves some of the time. However, that will not last. While it develops for some time, it also fades in time. A water tank that is both filled and leaking. Um, I don't know a single person in the world who finds romance in a cage or an imprisonment. And if you do, please seek help. I don't think he's talking about... Oh, yeah, there's that weird lag again. I don't think he's talking about, like, your run-of-the-mill BDSM. I, I think he's talking about, like, holding your partner captive or something. What did you do to Danny? What did you do to the... What did I do to the... Is Daniela being kept captive? Is that why there was a bunker back there? You live in I have gone backwards and gone into that room. Was I was that what I was supposed to do? And I didn't do. So many thoughts. Water tap. We put Danielle's body. I'm not liking this. Maybe it's all innocent, but. It's the fact that I've listened to too much truth. I just don't like the way he's talking about this woman. Also, romance and love don't have to be fleeting or fade or any of those things. You can love someone for the moment that you love them and it's fine. It doesn't have to be a forever thing. People come in and out of our lives. Is this supposed to be floating? I'm not sure. People come in and out of our lives as they're meant to, you know, as they're supposed to. Oh no, okay. Rock just. People aren't I want as. You to close your eyes for a while. Okay. How do you feel? I feel cold and empty. All alone. 
there's nothing and no one to fucking live for. This is how I felt without you. Yeah? I never want to be apart from you again. We should be together always. We should make this thing between us permanent. When will we live together? Soon. Now that I'm home again, all things will be as we want them and our life will be easy. We'll have a beautiful wedding this summer. We'll be happy and together forever. Sounds sweet. Let's do it. Not so sure it's gonna work out that way. Okay. Anyway, like I said, love doesn't have to be fleeting. It can... You can accept that certain people are in your life at times you need them, and then when they're not in your life anymore, it's because you don't need them anymore, and they don't need you, and it's okay to move on. Like, it's okay to, to leave a friendship behind or a relationship behind. It doesn't make either of you a bad person. You move on. Make yourself happy. Lose love doesn't mean you'll never find it. Plus, love doesn't have to be romantic. Love can be platonic, it can be aesthetic, it can be so many things. Sometimes the platonic love is actually more rewarding. Building here, so I guess we'll go ahead and check that out. Now that I'm done with my... <laughs> My uh, motivational speech about love. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm here for video games, Amber, and I'm for some Brene Brown shit. I agree. Wait, was awesome. I don't think I was supposed to go this way. Don't give me two ways to go and then not let me go two ways. Come on. Where'd my key? Reward it. Oh, no. This is another one of those games where I'm given so much to look at and a lot of them are, you know, very basic textures. Like I said before, it definitely has a very like earlier game feel. It's not, you know, as oh, here we go. It's not like as detailed as a lot of modern games or anything like that. But that's fine. It looks good enough for what we need it to be and all that stuff, which is great. It's it's a fun game and that's what we're looking for but there is a little bit of that like some of these games that look really pretty just kind of want to no I want to be able to walk around in them or them hang out in them sometimes not an option I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be able to actually look in here or not I don't see anything, so I think it's probably just building that I'm supposed to leave there. Again, curiosity. Best of me. I never know if I'm going to be rewarded or not. Funny though, because sometimes I'll, I'll decide, okay, that's enough rewarding of my own curiosity. I'll stop, and then... Whoop, big boy. And then I will miss things. With this, it's kind of hard to know. You can't control your speed in here either. You're either going that faster speed or you're going this brutally slow speed. Ah. I like how they make the, you don't have to run like for children. Yes, I do. And I'm still a child. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying very hard. I remember what our name is. I've already forgotten it. I remember her. But for some reason, I can't remember our name. Okay. Is this the same building, maybe? No. Oh, okay. It's slightly different. It's got an actual door on it. Maybe. Nope. I feel like we are the size of the door. We are huge compared to this door. <laughs> what is this? Is this a hobbit hole? Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Okay. 
I'm not sure where we're supposed to go. I think we're supposed to go this way. I might as well stop trying to get into the buildings. I, I think it's pretty clear at this point that we're not getting into any. I really want to. I have to. a question for you. Shoot. But please, be honest when you answer. Okay. Would you still want to be with me if I were very ugly? Yeah, I suppose. But I mean, really, really ugly. How ugly is that exactly? So it would be a question of how ugly I was, is it? No, I just wanted you to make it clear. Why? Because I have to know. I need to see the truth before my eyes before I decide. I can't agree to the unknown. Why? I mean, I would still be me. Why can't you give me a definite answer? I just... Please. I think I want to be left alone for a while. But, Daniela, I... <clears throat> I said, leave me alone. Please. That sounds like a question that a 1920-year-old would ask another 1920-year-old, if I'm honest. I feel like I've probably asked that question. I was in a horrible car accident. It left me. Yeah, I've definitely been that girl at some point. Okay. I think I'm around. Maybe I never knew where I was going. Uh, that's that building again. Is there nowhere to go back here? My dog is making little happy growls. It's, it's adorable. But it's also very distracting. Oh, wait, was there a sign up there? Or, no, okay. Uh, hmm. Do we gotta go back when we came or maybe did something or what's going on Daniel me your problem I don't think I'm gonna solve them but I could try now I don't remember which way I came in so probably ain't good uh, I don't think I... Uh -uh. Yeah, there's just supposed to be birds. Got it. Okay, at first I was like, is that okay? Ash or something? <laughs> there's like a little fisherman's hut? Or maybe it's like a... Yeah, it's like a little house over there. The houses are really cute, but the proportions are, like, totally off on them if he's that tall. Unless maybe he's a giant. Maybe he crushed Daniela. Maybe that's the problem. He just wouldn't stop growing and he actually just e 5 bummed her in the whole village. I said visage. <laughs> he just took off the whole, whole village. As we progress through life, there are more challenging situations waiting for us. We enter the time of challenge, and sometimes the transition is slow. But sometimes, it is so sudden you forget the life you had only moments ago. Overcoming greater difficulties brings greater satisfaction, and we feel stronger for the effort. We simply forget that we are one step closer to the end. But the end does not necessarily mean death. Sometimes it is the end of a struggle or the end of peace. The beginning of a difficult stage of life is inevitable for those who fear danger. So she left you, right? Is that what y'all are getting out of this? She left, is it? Because she was afraid she'd be too ugly. We're gonna go to the I, I feel like all games want you to go to the right, and so far you have not rewarded my curiosity, so... <laughs> um... I feel like this might be a circle.
Lately, I feel like there's been a lot of these walking sim type games where you hear the story and then make a decision at the end. And then... Ah, oh, we can get up there. Okay. I have a feeling this comes around to the other side. Let's just... Oh, itty bitty peek. There's been a lot of these kind of games lately where you walk through a forest and get a story. Just one. And I am curious. Like, there must be a lot of times when you get a lot of games that are very similar in theme and that kind of stuff. Typically, you know, there is something that kind of links them all together. So maybe. Are we But does that mean that we can go back to that gardeny thing or wait a minute so i'm wondering if there's like the engine this is made on does it like have a mode for you no know, oh this a different place okay does it have a mode for walking simulators with story or something if my chair is making background, I have the no chair. Crazy. <laughs> is this? Yeah, three. The views in these games are always really pretty. We like know? to be aware of what's being planned for us. Knowledge brings confidence and security. When we are warned about them, but they are not warned about us, we like to believe it is a fair situation. Sadly, nature is not fair, nor the lives we live. God moves in mysterious ways. Some of us want to take his place, when we have the power of society behind us, we believe we are gods. We feel invincible when we have many followers crushing whoever attempts to stand in our way. Uh, okay. What the hell is going on there? I assume that that's like some art installment something oh <laughs> oh boy am i smart i bet we have to listen to that again no i guess we don't okay 